Diego. Good morning from San Diego. We are just walking around the pool. This is our last day in San Diego. Well, it's more just the last morning in San Diego. We are traveling to Los Angeles today. Uh, very excited, we're staying at the Hilton um, at Universal, which we've set up before. We love it there, it's a fantastic hotel. Um, this is the view from like the fire pit and like pool area. It's honestly, it's really good. It's been a really, really nice hotel. Um, we've stayed at a Grand Hyatt before in San Francisco. This one is probably less grand than that, but it's still really nice. I mean, the views from here have been lovely. San Diego is very different than what I expected. I don't really, I kind of more expected kind of like a beach town where it's been more of like an actual city um, which has been nice to be honest uh, we our hotel is right next to seaport which has loads of like San Fran like San Diego I keep saying San Francisco San Diego like little shops honestly it's just been really really nice we've got some like tourist stuff obviously it's yeah it's been lovely there's still so many things that we've not actually done that we still want to do um, so that's something maybe we'll come back another time because it has been really nice here it's been it's been lovely. We've had two great meals here. We went to that Italian, uh, which was fantastic. Um, really, really good. Genuinely one of the best meals we've ever had in the whole of America. And then we went to the Henry last night on um, Con... Co Coconado. Con Conado. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm there. We also watched the sunset at the beach. Oh my gosh, it was, it was beautiful. Genuinely, it was so incredible. Like, Oh, I love it. We don't really go to the beach that often in the UK. Obviously, we're, we live near Blackpool, but like we don't really go there. I mean, it's not, not really the same, is it? Uh, but yeah, this is just like the fire pit area, you can say. We never actually sat in here, because last night there was like a party. This hotel seems to have a lot of conferences. As I said, the first day we were here, Barack Obama was here uh, to talk at some conference, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, this is the the lovely area of the pool it is it's really nice um it's been a little bit weird coming to san diego after just being in las vegas because oh, obviously las vegas is very like intense you know las vegas is las vegas which was so fun but this is more cool calm but also really really lovely still uh, we've seen so much the zoo was fantastic if we come again i definitely want to go to the safari park because that's where they have platypus um so i would love to see a platypus because probably the platypus uh, but yeah san diego has been absolutely lovely but i can't wait to get to la as well cinema we didn't actually know where this was i'm not sure if they were playing any films while we were here but this is the rooftop cinema it is a pretty fantastic rooftop cinema actually it's really really nice there's also basketball courts volleyball courts it is it's very impressive you know there's lots of this hotel we haven't actually seen yet but yeah this bit is the is the rooftop cinema i don't know how long this is staying here there was like some ads and stuff around the hotel but it is a pretty like nice little area with good a good photo ops if that's what you were um, into and there's lots of just like little games as well so yeah this is the this is the rooftop cinema of the grand hyatt
LA, we actually stopped off near Anaheim. We stopped off at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library. So a few years ago when we went to um, California, we actually went to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and we really enjoyed it, to be honest. So there was a Richard Nixon one nearby and we were like, you know what, let's, let's have a quick visit. Like, and honestly, I wish we'd spent more time there. That's how good it was. I think with Richard Nixon, you kind of, you always have this one kind of view of him because of Watergate. And Watergate was mentioned quite heavily in the Presidential Library, obviously, because that's like a huge part of his career and life. But there were also, you know, there was just so much more and it was it was really quite moving to be honest um to hear about his life and stuff as well and when you headed outside you could also see his uh, birthplace so there's like a little house on property uh, like just next to it um where he was born also see the final resting place as well of richard nixon and pat nixon and yeah it is it's really it's really quite a moving a moving place and if you're near the area i definitely recommend it just because it's so informative and even if you don't like agree with this politics or you do agree with this politics or anything like it's just a really nice it's really great to kind of see all that information in one place and just learn a bit more about him as a person and as a president
So this is the final stretch of our road trip. We are going from the Richard Nixon Presidential Library to Los Angeles. We're staying at the Hilton at Universal and we're just going to walk around City Walk in the evening. And then tomorrow we are going to go to Universal Studios Hollywood, the theme park. Can't wait and we are super excited to explore LA again. We've arrived at Universal, we're in LA, it's fantastic. We just went to Bubba Gump's for tea, we love the Bubba. We're here at City Walk. Um, it's a little bit dead, all the shops are shut. Usually like when we've been in the past, the shops have stayed open quite late. Whereas now they are shut quite early, which is a little bit disappointing because we like a little bit of a shop, obviously. So we're just wandering around, that's why we had tea, Bubba, Bubba Gump, it won't focus. But yeah, lovely evening. I do like City Walk, I just wish things would stay open for longer. But other than that, fantastic. We are going to the Grammy Museum. Uh, and then this is the dress she wore. Lots of you. So 